For this example, we'll learn how to create a button rollover effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first import an interface graphic that I've created. And I'm going to insert an image that I have on the desktop. And it's a PNG file. And I'm going to give its mode alpha because I saved its transparency in alpha. We'll put that right there. And now I'm going to create one of my interactions. And this would be for a particular category. And the first one is going to be for $100. So I have my response. I'm going to set everything up perpetual and exit interaction. And I'll set up my cursor. Now I'm going to set up my button for this particular one. This is going to be the 100 level question. So I'm going to, instead of use any of the buttons that are built in, I'm going to add my own button. I'm going to add this, and I'm going to choose for the upstate a graphic that I've created. So I'm going to import a graphic. And I have labeled them 100 up and 100 over. To import that graphic. And then for the overstate, when the user rolls over, I'm going to import a different graphic, the over graphic. And then I would also choose a sound, a sound effect that I've created. So I can import a sound effect. And I have a sound effect that I'm going to import. And let's see, let's line this up. We'll push pause. We'll move this, and we'll line this up right there. Now I've built the button so that when I choose to put my interface on a higher layer, the button will hide behind it. 